Now that we've got all of our components mounted on our demo frame, let's go ahead and bind the Turnigy radio uh, receiver to the transmitter. We can go ahead and do this even though we haven't calibrated our QBrain 4-in-1 ESC yet. So let's get started. Our first step in binding the radio receiver and transmitter together is to take this little bind wire right here and connect it to the bind port on the receiver just like this. Now we can connect power to our system. As you can see I've already connected the power module to the QBrain 4-in-1 ESC. Now we only have to add some power to the system. Yeah, isn't that a wonderful sound? Once we have power to the system, then you'll notice that on the receiver, this light is flashing. That means that the receiver and the transmitter are not bound together yet. Now we'll take the transmitter and before we turn it on, we want to put our finger on the button at the back that is identified as bind range test and push that button. While we're pushing the button, we will just simply turn on the transmitter like that. Now when we look at the receiver, we will see that the light on the receiver is solid. This means that the receiver and the transmitter are now bound together. And it's that simple. Now that the two are bound together, let's go ahead and disconnect the power from the system. Make sure that the transmitter is turned off. And then disconnect the bind wire from the receiver. Now this step in the process is complete. 